The good thing about a clinical thyroidologist is that we take the patient all the way through from the beginning to the end, the history, the physical, nuclear studies if necessary, diagnostic ultrasound, uh, ultrasound guided biopsies, and finally the cytology, which most endocrinologists send out to pathologists. Some of us will do our own cytology and some will do quality control by looking at the slides to make sure it's adequate before sending it to the pathologist. So let's look at our, one of our cases uh, from uh, yesterday and see how it looks under the microscope. So the uh, nodule that we biopsied yesterday, we're looking at under the microscope now and we see in the middle of the screen a big flat micro follicle. This is a very typical finding of a benign uh, thyroid nodule. All the pink and blue material in the background uh, is typical of a benign goiter. So this patient appears to have a benign goiter and now we're gonna photograph, photomicrograph these pictures. We're gonna digitalize them into the computer and then put a, these pictures on the pathologic report that will be attached to the patient's chart. See, all these cells are uniform. They have um, a honeycomb pattern, almost like a, a honeycomb of a beehive. And this pattern is classic it's a gigantic macro follicle, which is classic for a benign goiter. There's no doubt about this one. It has less than 1% chance of being anything other than a goiter. Good news for the patient, a benign thyroid nodule.